I ever told you, children, about Eirik, the curious boy with fire in his eyes and dreams bigger than the vast skies above? Eirik was much like many of you, adventurous, restless, always seeking the horizon. He had heard tales of the Horkers and their enchanting songs, the kind that could tug at the very strings of one's soul. One evening, drawn by an insatiable curiosity, Eirik decided to find out if the stories were true. You've come to Dawnstar at a strange time, friend. Seems everyone in the town is having nightmares. Rustlife, I've been wondering. Maybe after the baby is born, we should move to Hammerfell. I'm just worried about raising a child in the, mid in the middle of this war of yours. War of mine? It's not my war, Siren. Your people's war, I mean. The Nords. What kind of life would we be giving our little one if we stayed here? Frost took my husband years ago. He was a good man. Ventured to the Twilight Sea, where the Horkers were said to gather and sing. As he approached, he heard it. Soft, haunting, almost otherworldly. The song beckoned him closer, and closer still, until he stood at the very edge of the sea. Eirik saw them, the Horkers, their silhouettes illuminated by the soft glow of the moon. They sang, and as they did, the water around them shimmered and pulsed. Before he could resist, Eirik was drawn into the water, the song wrapping around him, pulling him deeper and deeper. Days turned into nights, and the village searched for Eirik, but the sea gave away none of its secrets. It wasn't until a moonlit night So children, when you hear the Horker's song, remember Eirik. Remember that some mysteries of Skyrim are best left untouched. Some songs best left unheard. Bye.